Hi, it's time for another math easy solution to discuss further into integration of rational functions by partial fractions. And now go over example 7, which is right over here, which is integral of 1 minus x plus 2x squared minus x cubed, all divided by x uh, times by x squared plus 1, and then that's squared. Well, first thing to notice, like, uh, like always, is to see if it's a proper uh, fraction or not. Uh, from the top, from the numerator, you can see, as you can see, that the highest power is x cubed, and then den the denominator, you can see the highest power would be well. There's an x to the power of one times it by there's an x squared, but this is uh, to the power of two, so that becomes x four, so x five once you include this. So this is uh, clearly a proper uh, fraction. So we could just use partial fractions for this one. So doing that we get well one minus yeah one minus x plus two x minus yeah the squared x cubed. Now this is all divided by x and then this is x squared plus one squared. Now notice that well this right here this is nonlinear and you also can't reduce uh, this anymore. So irreducible. So because it's uh, irreducible and nonlinear, we have to take account for that. So partial fraction for this becomes one over you know, a over x. Now plus this, this is nonlinear. So we have to have an x squared plus one, and then we have to have bx plus c. And you can see more on partial fractions decomposition. My video links below from my earlier videos. So now this second part, we need to include the squared. So this is going to be now uh, dx plus e then there's going to be well an x squared plus one squared. So now that we have this, what we could do is multiply the top, yeah, basically multiply both sides by this. So we get, well this just cancels, one minus x plus two x squared minus x cubed equals two a, and then there's an x cancel, so we have an x squared plus one squared. Now this, one of these cancels, so we get bx plus c times it by x. And then this is gonna be right here, x squared plus one. And now this uh, right side, this equals to plus dx plus e. And now this x squared plus one squared cancels when you multiply this, so we're just left with an x right here. Now solving this, we could pick a value for x and then solve for uh, each corresponding one, but that's a bit hard because there's only one thing that cancels everything, that's x equals to zero. So instead, we will just expand this all out and then s set up equations knowing what the coefficients should be, which is this one, negative one, etc. So this equals two, expanding this out a, this is an x squared plus one, just expand that out, that's x four plus well, 2x squared when you multiply it out, and then plus 1. Now this part right here, we could multiply this x inside first. This would be x squared. Remove this, put this inside. Or actually, better yet, I'll just write it up here. bx, and then plus cx, times it by x squared plus 1. This is a c. So now when we expand that out, we get, well, bx cubed plus, so then this, this times with this and this, so then now we have a plus bx squared. Same thing here, we get now cx cubed plus cx, and then expand these all the way up to here, plus dx squared plus ex. And now we have to, well, combine the like terms, so we look at this x4, and then now put whatever's inside, we'll have an a once you expand that out, and then there's another one here. And there's no other one, so we keep that we end up there. So now we look at the x cubed. When we look at the x cubed, there's only well here. Yeah, so that's all we are left with. So c. Now plus the x squared. There's an there's a two a. Two a. Now there's a b. And then there is a d right here plus d. And now the last one, is, well the second last is x. As you can see, the x there is a cx and an ex. So we take that out, c plus e. We're just factoring it out. Now this is the last one is well, there is an uh, there's one without any uh, power. 
so that's a uh, one so that's a yeah, now that we've set these up like this, and now uh, I'll write this down right here, where the coefficients uh, have to equal to, well, these coefficients in front of these uh, x, x powers. So in this case, there's no x4, so I'll put this right here, 0, x4. I'll put this over here, negative x cubed. Let's put an order from smallest to, uh, from largest to smallest, plus this 2x squared minus x, and then plus 1. So this has to equal to this, so we have 0 equals to a plus b. This negative 1 has to equal to, well, this right here. That's the only way we can add up to get this negative uh, x cubed, is if this c is equal to negative 1. And now the next one is, well, 2 has to equal to this part here. 2a plus b plus d. And this next one is negative 1, has to equal 2c plus e. And the last one is 1 has to equal to, well, this. That's the only thing without a x power, so that has to be, well, a. So now we've already solved two coefficients, c and a. And now this part right here, we could easily solve this. Plug this one inside, so 0 equals to 1 plus b. So b is equal to negative 1. So that's, we got that b. Now the next one is right, uh, yeah, we could go right here because we know a and b. So 2 equals to... 2 times 1, and then minus 1 plus d, this becomes, well, this is going to cancel, we're going to move this over, so d equals to 1. Now this last part, negative c is equal to, well, negative 1, yeah, negative 1 equals to negative uh, 1 plus e, these cancel, e is equal to, well, 0. So now we have our four coefficients. So now, yeah, I mean our five coefficients. So now that we have this, we could plug into that to the integral. So now we know that the integral of 1 minus x plus 2x squared minus x cubed all over x and x squared plus 1 squared dx equals 2 now this uh, with using the partial fractions of this. So this equals to well, 1 over x. That's this a. And now we have a negative 1 there, so negative, um, x, yeah, this is a plus bx plus c, so we have a negative 1x plus, I mean, yeah, plus a negative c, so that's going to be negative 1. So uh, again, this is going to be, well, like this, and what we could do is, this is going to be, again, x squared plus 1, so what we could do here is, is quickly, take this negative out or factor it so we have a negative here and then this becomes positive just to make it look nice so that's a cool way of doing that and then the last one is well plus dx plus e e is zero so we get plus now uh, this is going to be x over x squared plus one all squared and if we could go back up there again so there's our this is going to be one and then this one is going to be negative one x negative 1, you can just take that out of there, so that's what we have. So now we have to solve for these, uh, yeah, for this integral, and we know all this, we could solve this individually, so we know that, well, integral of 1 over x dx, from my earlier video I showed, that this is just ln absolute value of x, you can see the video for this, plus a constant, we'll call it c1, and then the next one right here is going to be integral of, there's this x plus 1, x squared plus 1 dx, we could break this apart, this equals 2x over x squared plus 1 dx plus, now we have an, a 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. Now we could solve these individually again, so this integral of the first one, x squared plus 1 dx, if we let so this is tedious integration, let u equals x squared plus 1, du is going to equal 2, well, 2x dx, and now solving for, well, x dx, this just equals 2 du over 2, so now we could plug this all into it, 1 over 2, there's going to be a du, and the bottom is going to be, well, u, this just equals 2, again, 1 over 2 ln absolute value of u plus constant c2 
then when we plug this in, this is just going to be ln, and we don't need this absolute value because this x squared plus 1 is always positive, plus c2. So now we have this part right here, the second one right here is going to be, well, that's just going to be integral of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. This equals 2, like I showed in my earlier video, the proof of it. This is just simply inverse tan of x. And again, plus a constant, we'll call this c3. So that's this one here. And now, yeah, you can see the video link below on proof of this. And now the next phase is, well, this one right here, x. And then there's a power of 2 there. So integral of x x squared plus 1 squared dx. Again, similarly, let u equals 2. Uh, if we let u equals 2 uh, x squared plus 1, just to make it simpler, then du is equal to 2x dx. And once again, x dx is equal to du over 2. And now we can just plug this in. So plug this in, we get equals 2 integral of 1 over 2 du now we have this uh, u squared again this is equal to a better way of writing it u negative 2 du and this equals 2 if you recall again from earlier video on powers integrating powers you get this is just going to be 1 over 2 you get 1 over 2 and then this is going to be up a power so this is going to be u to the power of negative 1 and then we have to, well, divide it by this negative 1, which is just going to be a negative. So that just equals to, well, negative 1 over 2. Again, that, that just doesn't change anything besides the sign. So now we have this, and again, plus, let's call it C4, constant 4. Plugging in the value and moving it to the bottom, we have 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2, times it by, uh, this is x squared plus 1 and plus C4. So now we could put this all in together finally. So we have the integral of 1 minus x plus 2x minus x3 all over x, x squared plus 1 squared dx is equal to, this is going to be scrolling back up here, we have a ln of x as a constant. We'll add these, all these constants together to a uh, constant c. So we have a ln x, then we have a 1 over 2 ln x squared plus 1, and a tan inverse uh, tan of x. But again, we have this negative sign. This one here is positive, just so you know. So this is going to be ln of x, absolute value of x minus 1 over 2 ln x squared plus 1, then minus, because that, that minus sign, inverse tan of x right here and then the last one is uh, well right here it's plus we have a plus right here and but the final integral sub integral is going to be a negative here so then we're going to have to have well a minus that's this right here 1 over 2 times it by 1 x squared plus 1 and then finally, we just add a constant c without uh, without these coefficients, just to say this is the summation of all of them. And this is our final answer. So yeah, this is pretty uh, tedious, but hopefully you followed along. And uh, when you keep doing the integrals like this, you get used to it, it becomes second nature, and you get to skip some steps that I went through, such as these letting equal to uh, uh, substitutions, etc. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully, you'll learn from this pretty extensive video. And uh, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.